everybody welcome back to kitty speaks it's kitty here today with another edition um i know this is all weird right but i am holding my tablet on my knees um i don't know i'm feeling that's kind of how i'm feeling right now but i am here to do my very first ever video request thank you so much to miss heidi marquis from connecticut hey girl I am doing the get to know me tag and um, I actually had to look up the questions from somebody else's video and I hope that um, I won't have trouble reading my crazy handwriting as I do this tag. But uh, question number one, what is your name? Well my name is Sandra Denise Jones. Um, AKA Kitty. My aunt actually nicknamed me that when I was a baby and it stuck. So I answer to either Sandra or Kitty. I will not answer to Sandra. I will not answer to Sandy. Um, I will, however, answer to Sanj. I, <laughs> I had a, uh, a best friend in grammar school that nicknamed me Sanj. And, uh, I don't even, I can't tell you how to spell that, but my name is actually Sandra, S-O-N-Z-R-A, like the Jack K. Harry character from 227. Uh, when were you born? I was born February 11th, and never mind the year. Only know that I am old enough to have been married for nearly 16 years. I've been divorced, I think, seven or eight Um and I have two adult children, so the year is Nanya, as in Nanya business. <laughs> Question number three, what is your hometown? It is Chicago, baby, my kind of town. Doubles. Uh, where have you worked? Well, my very first job ever was at Popeye's Chicken. And uh, my second job was as an accountant. And... Um, I have actually done many jobs. I have been a licensed realtor. Um, I have sold Craftmatic beds. My last job was uh, as a manager of a an investment management firm. Um, I have owned a sewing supply store. Um, Let's see, what else have I done? I have worked in human resources for Ernst & Young. Um, hmm, anything else that matters? I've sold car insurance. I've managed a tax firm. Um, I've done a whole lot of... I, I'm really into... Um, what do you call it? Um, volunteering. So I've I've done things for I've I've done things uh, not for pay for nonprofit agencies like um, training women on job skills like uh, resume skills interviewing skills uh, things like that. Um, I think that's enough. Uh, let's see hair length hair color eye color. Well, my hair is actually pretty long. Um, it falls down. Well, I guess medium length because it's not long for, but um, it falls down past my shoulders. This is my, my real hair. Um, it's just thin because of the lupus, but it's actually pretty long. My hair color, this is my natural hair color. You can't tell now, but it's actually a uh, sandy brown. So I have like shades of red, shades of blonde. Sometimes people in the correct light will ask me, is this my natural hair color? Yes, it is my natural hair color. I, I don't do hair coloring and things like that. But So it looks dark brown to you, but it actually isn't. Uh, my eye color is brown. My best feature, uh, I, I guess this question means physical feature, and so for me that would be my lips. But I had to grow into them because as a child, I got teased relentlessly oh your big lips soup coolers all kinds of stuff but um but now I I, I love my lips so hi to all of y'all I grew into my lips mm. uh what is your ethnicity uh African American Caucasian and American Indian and 
this is the funny thing because people all the time, black people say, oh, I got Indian in me. And people be like, no, she lying. She ain't got Indian in her. So I never actually tell people that. But I actually do have American Indian in my blood in my recent past. I think my my mother's grandfather. At least that's what she told me. So, um, <clears throat> how tall are you? I am five foot eight, but I love to wear heels. And so when I do, I'm between six feet and six two. So tall glass of water. Yes. Um, braces, piercings, tattoos. Uh, I have actually never had braces. And I, I actually had a dental assistant one time like, oh my god, you've never had braces? No. I, these are my, <laughs> these are my teeth. Ding. Oh. Um, they've never been like professionally bleached or anything like that. I just have never smoked. I've never been like a coffee person. I'm not real into soda, so my teeth have just never had the opportunity to be stained. But these are my natural teeth. I've never had braces. I have never had a tattoo. Although one time on a road trip, um, we were seriously thinking about it, but we had run out of money by the end of the trip. So that's that's how I ended up without a tattoo. And as far as piercings, both my ears are pierced twice, and that is it. Uh, how, let me see, do you play any instruments? Um, I learned how to play the soprano recorder. I can read, well, I think that's kind of a dying skill because I haven't had to do it in many, many years. I did learn to read music and I think with a little practice I could probably do it again. I would love to play piano and I've actually bought, uh, what do you call those keyboards? Like the really good ones several times in my life but every time I do my children take over so the answer to do I play any instruments it, it would probably be dishonest to say that that um, that I do although um, that's probably a skill I could develop really easily because I can read music uh, what did you want to be when you grew when you grew up the honest answer to that um, is I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom I never had any aspirations as far as what I wanted to do for a career other than be a mother. Uh, I did have all kinds of other people's dreams pushed on to me. Be a doctor, be a this, be a that. I went to college for computer engineering on a full academic scholarship. Um, but what I wanted to be was a mom. So go figure. Your least favorite and most favorite subject in school. My most favorite subject I can do that first was math. Oh my god. I loved math. My least favorite would probably be um, geography or um, the science classes like chemistry and those. Do you have any pets? Uh, I am currently the co-parent of a dog named Pearl with my best friend who has custody now <laughs> we've over the years gone back and forth about who has custody um, I am the grandmother of a dog and a cat but any pets in my home no although growing up well after I became a mom and got married and had my own family we pretty much always had a pet but right now I'm, I'm shacking with my boyfriend Shh. don't don't tell nobody that that probably that's not a question on this tag <laughs> but um and he is not an animal person really so no uh, have I been out of the country I have only been to Canada once I don't know if that counts but yeah Canada once when I was like I think I was like 21 or something like that me and a couple girlfriends drove to Canada for the weekend. Uh, favorite movie. My favorite movie. My favorite movie of all time is There's Something About Mary. And um, it's funny because I love that movie because it's funny. But when people watch it, they're like, oh my God, that's a parallel for your life. But, but, um, but Something About Mary. There is Something About Mary is my absolute favorite movie of all time. I have every time I lose the DVD, I have rebought the DVD over and over and over again. I'm pretty sure I've owned that DVD like five times. Uh, favorite TV show? Family Guy 
Archer, uh, things like that. I have a really weird, skewed sense of humor. And um, I still am into cartoons and video games and, and things like that. So Family Guy and uh, Archer, Bob's Burgers, those like that. Um, favorite book. My favorite book of all time is Charlotte's Web. That's been my favorite book since I was a child. And no matter how many books I've read, I think over this past year, my Audible account, um, I don't even think, I got the account last year, and it, I didn't even get it in January, but when they sent me my update, I had bought something like 75 books. I love to read, but Charlotte's Web will always be my favorite book. My favorite color, two. Uh, pink and gray. My favorite animal. Uh, this is a tra this is a tragic tale actually because my favorite animal is a cat. Hello Kitty. And uh, oh, that's funny. Hello Kitty. I'm wearing Hello Kitty socks right now. I love Hello Kitty, but um, anyway, never mind. But I am allergic to cats, and um. I had to get, I was literally getting allergy shots like four times a week and my doctor, my allergist was like, if you want to get better, you're going to have to get rid of your cat. And it was such a sad, I cried so much and we had to give our cat to like friends of the family. And every time we went over, they were always like, you remember when she had to give up the cat and how much she cried? And I'm like, oh my God, could y'all stop bringing that up? But uh, that's what happens when you're holding... I'm my own camera person and I'm holding my tablet to record this. Um, favorite perfume. My signature perfume, I would say, is White Diamonds by Elizabeth Taylor. Or Elizabeth Taylor's White Diamonds. Uh, and then Lancome Poem. And my third favorite is an Avon fragrance that I meant to... Let me... This is the one good thing about holding the tablet while I record this. Because I can just get it out. I am saving the bottle. It's Imari by Avon. Oh, sorry. Uh, wow, sorry. Woo! Uh, favorite drink, water. I drink water a lot. Um, and then the drink that I am addicted to that I try not to drink a lot is Pepsi because I am sensitive to sugar. Sugar is very bad for me. It does awful things to me. Um, but I am addicted to Pepsi so I try to avoid it as much as possible and then beyond that is Sprite. But again, I don't drink soda very much. I drink water is like 90% of my liquid consumption is water uh, my favorite holiday it, I, I am not going to say Christmas but I bet you I I would render a guess that the majority of people who record this say Christmas so I decided that I am not going to say Christmas but then I couldn't hardly think of that many other holidays um, I know I will say either Independence Day or Memorial Day and it is because I am really um, I, I'm a patriot of a very tall order I, I think that uh, our servicemen and women are heroes every single one of them the sacrifices that they make to keep our country safe um, and that that includes people like firefighters policemen um, I, I, I I'm gonna say either Independence Day or Memorial Day. Favorite store. Here's another sad story. My favorite store is Dots. It's a clothing store that has gone out of business recently, like within the last six weeks. The company went bankrupt and I am hoping because every other company is able to go bankrupt and then reopen. So I am hoping that this will be one of those times because I love Dots. I would say that Probably 80% of my wardrobe, my shoes, my accessories, everything comes from Dots. The clothes that I'm wearing right now come from Dots. Well, at least my shirt, um, this ring, this did not come from Dots. But um, I'm actually wearing pajamas. Y'all can't see it, but I am. I'm wearing pajamas. Um, 
but uh yeah I, I i really wanted to cry so when they were about to close my boyfriend took me and said you can go shopping and just go on a shopping spree and i i promise you i picked up everything that they had that was in my size and then i went back because they kept restocking from the warehouse i was i was so happy but yeah they're gone now please come back i love you dots uh, number 24, my favorite restaurant right now is Texas Corral. And that's a new. Uh, my favorite place to go. This is hard because I don't really get out of the house much anymore because of my disability. Um, the answer would have been the zoo. But... Um, I don't I don't really I can't really answer that right now because most of my life revolves around going to the doctor or going to have surgery or going to the hospital and being admitted so and I don't like doing any of that so I don't know favorite song right now my favorite song is Roger that by Young Money Okay, now now it's playing in my head. Roger that. I love that song. Uh, MC or PC. I'm sorry. Mac or PC. PC. Facebook or Twitter. Facebook. Star Wars or Star Trek. Star Trek. Let me see if I can do the thing. I can't really do the thing because my, my fingers be always shaking and stuff. Uh, but I'm a Trekkie. What kind of phone do you have? I meant to make sure that I had it while I was recording this video, but I have a Samsung Galaxy S3 Mini. My tablet is a Samsung Galaxy S4. I am a Samsung Rada Dot chick. How are you currently feeling? Well, I am currently feeling like I am so happy that it's almost the end of this video because I am in pain and I would like to stop, but I promised her that I would do it quickly, so that is what I'm trying to do. Sorry about that. <laughs> but... I'm feeling silly, but uh, yeah, ready to stop this video because I am in pain. Um, what are you currently eating? I, I know that that does not mean currently as in right now, but currently I am eating watermelon like for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that too is because of my disability. Um, I like watermelon, but it gets kind of boring. Uh, what are you currently thinking about? I'm currently thinking about stopping this video and going to bed because I'm in pain. Why weren't y'all paying attention when I just said that a minute ago? I'm currently wearing, I am currently wearing Hello Kitty socks. Let me see if I can do it for you. Pajama pants and yeah, my top from Dots that I already told you about. Single or taken? I am taken. I am not married. I am shacking. But I am taken. Do you want to have kids? Um, I've already had my children. I have four. Do I want to have grandkids? Not right now. My oldest daughter has graduated college already. My second oldest daughter is a senior and she's going straight to graduate school. And the other two are teenagers. So uh, with God's blessings, there will be no grandchildren anywhere in my near future. And uh, do you believe in God? I think I, my, my tablet died while I was trying to watch the other video to get the question. So um, if that's not the last question, you'll have to forgive me. But it is the last question that I recorded. It is question number 37. And the answer is a resounding yes. So that is my get to know me tag. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Again, shout out to Heidi Marquis, and thank you so much for requesting this video. Ciao.